Who says data has to be boring? I'm going to show you how you can use charts in Adobe Express to change the way that you show data. I have an infographic for Hispanic Heritage Month that I want to update. Now, I've used a lot of data here, but it's mostly using type, which can get hard to read after a while. So I want to make sure I incorporate some charts to relay some of this important data. So in this instance, I have that's 14%, and I want to change that 14% from type to an actual chart. So I'm just going to delete that percentage, bring this up a little bit more to make room for the chart, and I'm going to add a chart. If you can't see this, what you need to do is go to Elements, and it's going to bring up the pop-up window where we see the design assets, backgrounds, etc. Scroll all the way to the far right and you will see charts. This is different to the add-on that's inside Adobe Express. Charts is included for free inside Adobe Express and you have all sorts of options to select from. I want to work with a progress donut, so I'm going to click on this option and once I click on that, it brings my chart to the design. Now what I'm going to do is a few changes. I want to make sure the font is consistent with what I'm using, so I select that. Now I can adjust the fill and I want to use one of my brand colors. Then I'm going to change the color of the value so that way it reflects the percentage. And of course, I need to make sure I update the percentage. So here is where you add the new percent. And as you can see, it immediately updated my data. So this is really helpful to start to relate data in different points. Now, if you change your mind, you can also select on the data chart and select a different option. So you can scroll through all the these different variations that you can use and it'll automatically change that for you. Thanks for watching. We have an entire playlist where you can learn more right over here.